Hi there, in this video, I will discuss on intermembranous ossification process. If you are interested to know the intermembranous ossification, then continue this video. But, this video is not enough for learning intermembranous ossification. It will provide only the summary of the whole intermembranous ossification process. Okay, let's start. The osteoprogenitor cells differentiated into the bone-forming cells called the osteoblasts. These osteoblast cells begin to synthesize and secrete osteoid and contribute to the mineralization process. First, the osteoblast cells produced the collagen fibers and appeared between the cells. In the later stage, the ground substances of the matrix are produced by the osteoblast cells. In early intermembranous osteogenesis, the matrix becomes mineralized, and osteoblasts become surrounded by this incompletely mineralized matrix. In this matrix, you might find the collagen fibers. More osteoid is produced, followed by mineralization. The osteoblasts become entrapped by the surrounding matrix and transformed into osteocytes. Small, isolated pieces of developing bones are found within the mesenchyme, known as the primary ossification center. Osteoblasts proliferated by division and arranged in a radiating manner from the ossification center. These bony spicules are joined with other bony spicules and form the beam or trabeculae. These are the trabecular or spongy or cancellous bone. The bony trabeculae increase in width and length by adding new lamellae, and the osseous tissue replaces all the mesenchyme. After the complete replacement of the mesenchyme, the trabecular bone becomes the compact bone. Thanks for watching. Please read the article from anatomylearner.com to know more about intermembranous ossification.